And thanks for your great presentation. I watched it on the, uh, not only your quarterly, but your 2020 budget. And I think, as I've said to everyone, I urge everyone to watch the meetings. Uh, it was well thought out, well presented. So we'll start off. Uh, Chief, unless you want to make any opening uh, statements on the budget, we'll do what we did with the police department. I, I would think that that would be appropriate. I do want to say that uh, Chief Sawyer and I, I would echo Chief Sawyer's sentiments on how the collaboration between oh, us and absolutely. the town manager, this is how this was derived. Absolutely, Chief. Thank you. So we're, we'll start off. Mr. Brado, if we could start under fire department administration under subtotal, would you move that number? Sure, that's 402. 818. Moved by Mr. Bridal. Second. Seconded by Mr. Pluff. Anyone have any questions or comments on the fire department administration? Pretty straightforward. It's literally a 1% increase, but it really is kind of almost <coughs> even, and I appreciate the chief uh, and deputy on that. Uh, anybody have any further comments in that area? No. Okay. We'll go to fire suppression. Yes, fire suppression is okay. 2 million. Seven five one uh, seven five one two three three. Moved by Mr. Bridal, seconded by Mr. Pluff. Mr. Mara, did you? Well, <laughs> are you part of the meeting, David, or what? I'm just curious. So, fire suppression. Uh, Mr. Bridal was moved two million seven fifty one two three three. Seconded by Mr. Pluff. You'll notice that the majority of the fire department budget obviously comes under that area because it's encompassed all the regular wages, all the vacations, sick leave, part-time wages, overtime wages, um, technical hazard, pro, uh, protective clothing, and that sort of thing. Anybody have any questions or comments in that area? <coughs> Mr. Henderson. Yeah, just a quick one. How are we doing with the uh, protective clothing? Have we gotten to the point where everybody's gotten on a second set and is that program fulfilled? Absolutely, and thank you for asking. Um, we were very grateful to the, the citizens of Hampton for voting in the warrant article that allowed us to purchase a second set for all of the firefighters. Mm. Uh, we have now completed the purchase of all primary mm. sets as well. So all of the firefighters that are currently working have two sets of gear, and that includes jackets, pants, boots, gloves, and a hood. Uh, we didn't buy new helmets for everybody. They're durable goods, so at this time, that's where we stand. So we feel uh, we're very grateful. Thank good. you very much. Very good. excellent achievement on that, Chief. That was that's terrific. Thank you, Brian. Uh, Brian. Go ahead, Mr. LeBranch. Okay, on that line, um, I know that you talked about this the selectmen's meeting, but okay. the um, Warren article. There was some money left, correct? Correct. Okay, and where does where do you keep that? Where do you store that so you can use it in the future? So that's still under the the um, the Warren article was set it aside as a, as a separate account, uh, and that is retained there. And Chris might have a better. Yeah, it's a, a capital reserve fund, so it's held by the trustees. Okay. So they you. already have the two hundred thousand, and then when all the purchases are done, so then they'll reimburse the town. So they got the two hundred right out of the. Um, after the article passed. Right, and you spent about 139, 100. About 136,000 we figured, we yeah. calculated today. Yeah. So uh, there still is a small sum that remains in there. Uh, and then with the assistance of the town manager, it's proposed that we're gonna continue to add yearly so that when this gear reaches its maturity, then we'll be able to replace it as well. Excellent, thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. That, was a, great that was a big, big move last year. Yes, I concur. You know, so very important. Anybody else uh, have any other comments or questions in this section? Okay, under fire prevention, accept the motion. Uh, subtotal for fire prevention is 106,508. Moved by Mr. Second. Bridal, seconded by Mr. Pluff. Anybody have any comments? Or? Great job in that area, too. All right, training. Training, move 39,978. Moved by Mr. Bridal, seconded by Mr. Pluff, 39,978 under training, medical services, pretty much nothing under new equipment, training and recruitment, pretty much uh, stayed the same. Anybody have any questions or comments on that? No. All right. Communications. Yes, sir. Communications is 268-134. Second. Moved by Mr. Bridal, seconded by Mr. Pluff. Hearing no questions or comments. Repair services. 
Repair services is one hundred and twenty-seven thousand one hundred and fifty. Second. Seconded by Mr. Pluff. Pretty much stayed the same on vehicle maintenance, uh, Chief. Yes, sir. And uh, you know, as, as we have talked about in the past, we're we're seeing an aging fleet, and in the capital improvement plan, we're looking to replace in the years coming. Um, to that end, we're also doing maintenance. Uh, it's been identified on the ladder truck that there are some rust spots, and we're dealing with that. Not a safety hazard, but we're we're working towards mitigating that hazard. So we're staying right on top of it. Thank you. Anybody have any more questions or comments? Uh, lastly, under stations and buildings. Yes, sir. 107775. Second. Moved by Mr. Bridal, seconded by Mr. Pluff. Any discussion in that area? You want to move that uh, final number? The total fire department budget is 3,803,596. Second. Second. And just remember that the, as, as Christy Poem has said, we'll wait to the final number. It is a little higher, uh, but we can go into that more detail in the final number as we review December 17th. But uh, uh, excellent job. And I might add, if you've watched the meetings too, both uh, Chief Ayotte and Deputy Cutting have discussed, you know, these department heads have such more to, so much more than just the budget and managing, right? So you talked about vision and the west side and what it really <coughs> cost to do a substation on the west side, more man manpower, excellent vision going forward. So we get a lot of things going on in this community. And so you're always on the forefront of looking ahead in what's going to be needed because we continue to grow. So we appreciate uh, budgets. Looks really good. Uh, thanks again this year. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any further questions? Mr. Just, I just want to comment that uh, very good management. You know, when we're looking at uh, a 1.0% increase over last year, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Ladd. I would echo Stephen's comments. I would make one other question of you. Yes, sir. When the fire occurred down in Dover Avenue, yes, sir. Could you explain the implications how your lack of enough staffing was impacted by that fire? So we were greatly assisted by off-duty vacationing firefighters. Um, it, it was characterized by some that they were off-duty from our department, and it wasn't. So that you understand, I've sat before you before to say that that was callback. These are off-duty firefighters from other locations that happened to be across the street, and they assisted our first arriving engine to deploy their supply line and to get operational. That was a large fire. It was on a wind-driven day. Um, fire, the wind was driven at about nine miles an hour sustained, gusts mm -hmm. up to almost 20 miles an hour. The potential for that entire area to become a conflagration was there. Without their assistance, it could have been very tragic. It was also um, a quick thinking and decision-based you know, uh, item there where a firefighter took initiative and, and took control. It's not something that we want to see. We certainly don't want anybody responding without the proper staffing. Um, this was a once-in-a-lifetime event, we hope, and um, all things considered, did a tremendous job. And didn't you have multiple other events occurring simultaneously? Absolutely, we did. We had an ambulance call, which required three persons, so that was a potentially sick uh, patient, and usually there's two people that will transport out of the to the hospital. Uh, this particular person was very ill and took a driver plus two in the back. Um, additionally, we had a water call, so Marine One was outside of the harbor, right. and Simultaneous to the phone calls coming in, uh, radio traffic from Marine One was coming in because the lieutenant that was on char in charge on the boat saw the smoke, called back, and he let them know that, hey, we have a fire, and immediately a phone call came in and said, hey, we have a fire. Um, so they were able to do that. The boat, the Marine One had to come back to dock. They had to secure the vessel and then get off, get dressed, get prepared, and arrive at the scene. They did so in, in a timely fashion, under two minutes, which is really tremendous, and it, was, it just shows the professionalism of the firefighters. Now, how many firefighters were on Marine One at that time? Four. So you had three in an ambulance, four on a boat. How many were left uh, to respond Well, uh, they, duty? so that you understand, too, the, the transport had <clears throat> completed. Um, the ambulance returned the, the third firefighter to get his gear and dropped him off at the beach fire station. They were returning to, the, the engine was at um, headquarters, so there was a captain and one firefighter plus the firefighter that was down at the, at the beach fire station. So at the time, there was only one firefighter at the beach station took the spare engine, there were four firefighters on the boat, and then there was a captain and another firefighter up here at, at headquarters. It was a remarkable outcome considering the negative perfect storm. I absolutely agree. 
Thank you. Any comments? Any further comments? Thanks so much, Chief. Thank and you so much. Cutting. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And to you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay.